guiding beam of Caloundra's iconic twin lighthouses may be a thing of the past, but they once played an integral role in navigating ships through these waters. Between them, they watched over this part of the Sunshine Coast for more than a century, and the now decommissioned landmarks remain open. Visitors have free reign every second Saturday, or when the flags are raised. I always remember driving up here when I worked in town. I'd look to see which way the flag was blowing, because as a keen surfer, that was always how you assess the conditions. Oh, that's important. Well, these stairs are a bit of an effort. Yes, you know if you fit or not. But it's worth it for the view when you get up here. Oh, it's wonderful. Roger Todd is a volunteer with Friends of the Caloundra Lighthouses, a group committed to preserving the buildings and their history. So this is the lantern where the, the light was. It was a array of sealed beam, like, like in a car headlight, and that rotated and gave the, the flash to the shipping. The original lighthouse from the late 1800s hasn't always stood on this site. Roger tells me that after the second signal station was built in the 60s, its predecessor was relocated to the powerboat club at Golden Beach. But 30 years later, it was returned to home base. I love the story of Perce Godfrey, who was out off Bray Rocks there in the 1920s on a, on a ship out there. And they were in a storm, and they, they would have hit the rocks, but they, the cloud cleared a bit and they could see the light, and they realised where they were and, and moved off. But then many years later, Perce was actually the commodore of the powerboat club. And so when word came that the lighthouse had to be moved, he was able to save the lighthouse that saved him. If it wasn't for people like Perce and Roger, the lighthouse wouldn't have made it onto the Queensland Heritage Register. So it's a real icon of Caloundra, and so many businesses and the local schools use the lighthouse as their logo. The schools have the motto, giving light. And actually the first lighthouse keeper, when he came to Caloundra, he had enough children uh, for them to start a school. So it really is the starting point for the school in Caloundra. As an architect, Roger can appreciate these buildings for more than just aesthetic value. So do these two lighthouses reflect the architecture of the times that they were built? Yes, well the old lighthouse is timber and tin, a unique Queensland construction. The story goes that traditionally lighthouses were built of stone, but when they hit the great sandy country in Queensland, there was no stone, so they had to look at another way of building. And of course when you get to the 60s, it, concrete towers are all the rage, and uh, you get this building, quite different. The move to and from Golden Beach took a toll on the frame of the older lighthouse, but fortunately most of it has been preserved. We've kept as much of the original fabric as possible. We had to replace some of the iron where we dropped it, but other than that and some minor slip sheeting between sheets where it had rusted out, it's all the same. You can take a wander through the Calandra lighthouses on Canberra Terrace every second and fourth Saturday of the month from 9am until mid-afternoon. Special viewings are also available by appointment, and entry is just $2. The John Oxley Library at the State Library of Queensland in South Brisbane has a wonderful collection of images recording the history of Queensland's lighthouses, as well as a variety of prints of Queensland's coastline. Wow, standing here it's easy to imagine the life of a lighthouse keeper. Yes, imagine coming up here at sunset and lighting that light and looking out over the, the landscape, it's just magical. Fantastic.